again my little vultures and welcome to Morbid Education and in today's video we have our first unboxing of the, the bone box for this year and this is for January 2020 and if you're unfamiliar with this box it is basically a box for the vulture culture people if you don't know what the vulture culture is it's basically people that are interested in like bones, dead animals, type of a thing. You can either be a zoologist, archaeologist, and have this interest, or maybe a taxidermist. It, it ranges. You can be a normal person, not normal. A hunter, science geek, a goth, who? Just someone who likes bones. Who knows? There's a whole different reason why people would like bones besides being a serial killer. Anywho, now onto the box. So, if this video is late, it is because my birthday is in late January. So, I, you know, might have celebrated a little too much or maybe just was a little too busy this month. Because, well, my birthday, there are four other birthdays in my family. Just my immediate family. So that's fun. But let's go ahead and see what is basically in my birthday box. Today, for our little edition of the box, we have a pair of shark teeth. This is not our first pair of shark teeth, but I'm not sure if I have this kind of shark because obviously I don't know what shark it comes from. I have a part of a couple of shark Facebook groups, so I'm pretty sure the one that... I'm a part of that is all about jaw collecting and shark teeth and such might be able to help me identify this but for now all that it says is we are real shark tooth pair for six dollars and the total of this box is $24.99 a month by the stuff we have our bubble wrap that contains our skull of the box and our skull of the box is a little mink skull! And this is probably the tiniest mink skull I have. First, or maybe it was my second skull bone box ever, was a mink. But it definitely wasn't this small. This is a tiny little guy. Look at that. So, Every skull that comes in this box has a little cane's name tag, I want to say, because it has the mink, and then underneath it, it has a scientific name, which is Mustela Vision. Then on the back, it says the mink. The mink is found throughout the United States, appearing in parts of every state except for Arizona. Adult minks grow about two feet in length with about half of its length being its tail. A member of the weasel family, minks are successful carnivores feeding on sm small vertebrates and occasional insects. And then our little baggie states that this mink is priced at $35, which already beats the price of the box. Now onto our little cue card. Even though I have opened a, a mink before in my box, I think I'm going to go ahead and read this again, just in case somebody didn't see that video. Maybe that video quality wasn't that good. Who knows? These videos are usually somewhat shortish anyways, under 15 minutes, so might as well. So we have class, order, family, genus, and species. Mammalia, Carnivora, Mustelidae, Mustela vision. Diet carnivore range North America. This month bone box delivers to you the American mink. It's a semi-aquatic carnivore inhabiting streams and rivers throughout North America. Take a close look at the shape of the skull. The square jaw, sharp canines, strong molars, and dense bone are great examples of a mustelid. Mustelids are found are found on five continents and nearly every kind of environment. They are excellent hunters and have been known 
to bring down prey significantly larger than themselves. The American mink has been introduced to habitats, to habitats across the world in an effort to increase the production of fur. Most of these minks escape into the wild and establish themselves into full-fledged breeding population. As a result, you can now find them in Europe, Iceland, the British Isles, and the Patagonia region of South America. So that is that little interesting thing. And that was our box of January. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like to see this type of a thing, if you like to see different animal skulls, then go ahead and subscribe. If you like to learn more about these animal skulls, go ahead and subscribe because I'll give whatever information comes with them because I'm not a zoologist, unfortunately. I just know some facts, not a lot, but usually the animals that pop up, I don't really know random facts about yet. I'm sorry. More videos will be coming up of a different variety as well. But for now, while those are still in production and in the make, this is what I got for you. Alright, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.